What is up guys? This is John aka Pokemon and today I'm finally bringing you guys the Pokemon tier list that everybody has wanted to see but you just haven't been asking for it. What Pokemon could I be in a fight in the Gen 4 region? Now uh, Pokemon Platinum is my favorite game of all time. Gen 4 is my favorite generation but even with both those things being true I absolutely hate this Pokedex. There are so many new Pokemon here that are just plain awful. I don't understand why some of them were created. It's not the biggest Pokedex, and really the only thing that saves it, beyond a few early Pokemon that are wonderful and Infernape, of course, is the, the evolutions. The evolutions are great. I probably can't beat many of them in a fight, but you know what? I need to go through this. I need to rank these Pokemon that I can beat in a fight because some of them have been bothering me for some time. And if we are going to get remakes of these wonderful games, I think this needs to be on the record before I play through them again. Now, uh, this is this is going to be a little goofy. If you do want to see more, more funny tier lists like this, let me know. I can definitely come up with some crazy ones. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get right on into it. But we do need to start with first the categories. Punted to the moon is exactly what you're reading. It's a Pokemon I will pick up and punt, and it will go straight to the moon. Probably, I could most likely beat it in a fight. You know, there's, we'll have to see. I don't have any magical abilities, so that's going to be a little tough on my part, but not all of these things are good. We'll see. We're really undecided. We'll just have to see. Yeah, you get me in a ring with that Pokemon, who knows what's going to happen. Not great. It's, it's probably not going my way. And rip, I'm, I'm dead. That's it. I'm gone. Goodbye, John. That's how that goes. Now, before I really start putting Pokemon places, you need to know a little about me. I am a pretty tall human being. I'm 6'3". I'm decently athletic, you know, mostly when it comes to, like, running. You know, I did a lot of cross country. I've done a lot of basketball and some of the other sports, which is great. Have I lifted any weights in years? Don't want to answer that question. Just, it's pandemic. What do you think? Not, not really, no. Not the most muscular person here. And am I at my prime? Am I really in the best shape of my life? No. So we have gangly arms and being a big human. That's pretty much all I have going for me and opposable thumbs. I can pick things up and that will be really helpful. Past that, I don't know. Getting into this, snapping turtle, that is gonna be a little interesting. I've gone on likes before with a net, got the snapping turtle. I don't know what to do then. I've caught the turtle. I don't really know what I do at that point. So I think that's a wheel see. I've never been in the situation where I know what to do. He might snap my left, you know, my hand. He grabs my hand, right? He, he chomps there. I'm not feeling good, but I get a nice little punch in. Maybe that will be enough. Probably not. Grodel is, that's, it's not great. It's not a great situation. It's, no, it's, no, it's not great. I, I don't know what I could really do about this, but I don't know if it's really going to take me out. Torterra, I'm gone. That's it. Goodbye, me. It's not happening. You, little fire monkey, he's setting me on fire. It's, I'm on fire. I, it's not great. I don't, I don't know if I can get through the third degree burns to do anything to the small monkey friend, but probably not. And he's, yeah, he's absolutely destroying me. He, not only does he have fire on his side, but he also has learned martial arts. So he's setting me on fire and then beating up my body. It's terrible. Infernape, if there was something below Rip, that might be in for me because that's not going to be great. Now, moving on to Piplup. Boy, I'm punting it to the moon. He has a tiny little beak, so he's not even going to be able to bite me. What's he going to do? Send bubbles my way? This is the real world. I'm not going to be able to punch steel Pokemon and then they actually go down. Like Bastiodon, I punch that thing, I break my hand. I, if someone is like a, you know, a master martial artist and has figured out how to punch through metal, good on them. Me, that's not going to work. This thing in the real world, he's shooting bubbles my way. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to wade through the bubbles and I'm punting and it's very much gone. Printplup, still a very small beak here, but it does look like he probably has some metal on his fins. I, I mean, beyond having better water moves at this point, he can just start like, hacking at me and that's not great. Empoleon is, is cutting me in half. I mean, you see, you see the metal on his fins. That's not great. He's got a trident for a head. He could go out of the water and then, boom, like just aqua jet right into me. Not going to be great. Now, a Starly here. I think that's a probably. Now, could be very annoying coming at me. Actually has a decent beak. Flies in, starts pecking at me. I mean, maybe I get a good swing in, but I don't I don't think it's going to go my way. Uh, this thing honestly really doesn't look that scary, right? I think it'll be a not great, but like, you know, you see Starly and that together. I don't know, Staravia, a cool Pokemon, one I love. Okay, let me take that back. A Pokemon I love, but it's it's really lame. It truly just is the in-between of Starly and Staraptor, which Staraptor, my god, am I out of here. Brave Bird, close combat. Uh, boy, uh, I'm very much gone, but 
Moving on to Bidoof. I think that's a probably. I He's got some big chompers there. I do not want to... I don't really know how big it is, but I also don't want to... I don't want to face this thing one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, maybe I could get some kicks in. Maybe I have, like, some some nice boots on. I don't know. It's a, I get to make up whatever I'm wearing. I don't get, like, a sword and a shield. That wouldn't be fair. But I assume I'm not going in there without clothes, right? So maybe I have a, some nice boots so I can kick at it. He's not chomping through. Uh, I, I'm going to... I'm just going to say... I'm going to say a pro... Well, we'll say a we'll see right with that situation there with that scenario we'll have to see what i'm equipped with so i think that's fair but barrel if that was a real pokemon like in real life that thing is terrifying it's that is the last thing you want to see i think he could probably squish me with his tail like if he knocked me over he could squish me i guess i'd i'd have the height on him which would be great so he wouldn't be able to just bop me on the head but i don't think i'm beating that thing cricketot to the moon it, it is gone. I don't know what that thing could do. I really think the only thing it could do is like creep me out. I'm not scared of bugs, but I feel like real life Pokemon bugs would just be giant. But I, I feel like they'd be a little creepy, but I don't know what that thing's doing to me. He has fun little mustache hair there. You have an actual mustache and a pot belly. I'm going to I'm going to put you on not great because I think it would terrify me more than anything, right? Like this thing is very very creepy. He'd be making funny noises, right? And I'd hear it coming. So I, I think in the real world, I'd be running for my life. In a, in a fisticuffs, you know, he's trying to throw down. I don't love my chances, but I don't think it's like a guarantee that it's over. I just, I don't really love him. Now, this one, this one, I don't really like. Uh, Shinx is everything. But it does have the power of electricity. One, I don't want to hurt it. Two, it can shock me, which is not great. But it is very, very small, and it's very, very adorable. It doesn't look ferocious. I think, I think there's a, a good chance I could take this on. The problem is that's gonna attract the older brother, and that's that's very much that's that's a rip. That's it's not good at all. And then the Luxray, or what are we talking about? I am out of there. That thing is shocking me and then eating me. I'm not having a good time. So so far. I will say I thought I'd have a few more wins under my belt, but uh, it's not it's not looking great, you know, as we go through this tier list of what I could take on. But you know what? A little a little Badoo, uh, I think we're going to be able to, I think that's going to be a probably. I can't say I'd punt it, right? Because it does have, I think, effect spore. It's definitely going to be able to use like poison powder, sleep powder, you know, uh, paralyze me, all these different things. So I think depending on what it goes for, like if it puts me to sleep, What's it going to do? Come over me and start, like, bopping me with its little butt on its head? Like, that's not going to do anything. You know, I guess a little razor leaf. Give me some paper cuts, right? But I don't think it's going to be able to take me on. So if I wake up, grab it by the top, and start smacking it on the ground, I think I'm good. I think that's my plan. But again, it really depends on what status condition it gives me. Roserade, I don't even want to talk about that. I think it's going to be really bad for me. All of the dinosaurs, it's going to be bad. This thing is going to run right through me with uh, the force of a thousand suns. Uh, multiply that by a billion, and that's Rampardos versus me. Shield on. I do think my height would really help me in this situation with a shield on. I mean, I can't imagine it's too big. I don't think I would be able to beat it. I think it would eventually wear me down and beat me. But I don't know. I mean, I think it's a we'll see. I think we do. Who gets exhausted first between the two of us, right? Like, I think it could do some damage to me. But I feel like it'd be like slow and plodding. He's got a very heavy, you know, head. So, I mean, maybe I could like knock him over. He gets off balance. He falls. And then I just, you know, start kicking his underbelly. Just kick him in the belly, right? Punch him in the belly. We'll have to see, right? That's why it's we'll see. Bastiodon, I'm gone. I am Bastio gone. And that is, <laughs> that is... That is that. There is nothing else there. Now, the main reason I wanted to do this is coming up here because I am taking that, I am taking this, and I am taking that, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm assuming they're all three of them are coming at me at once, and I'm gonna take the trash form. I'm gonna grab it by that little thing, right? Now I have this steel bug thing that can't do anything because it's the worst Pokemon ever created, right? Now we have the, you know, the sandstorm coming, trying to, you know, blind me. We have the leaves, you know, uh, razor leaf throwing my way from the, the grass one. I'm taking it and I'm just whack, whack whack it's like a you know, machete right i'm trying to get through a thick jungle but except i'm taking the trash one and just beating the other ones on the head until i win and then i can punt each one to the moon and everyone's really happy wormadam's gonna be a little bit tougher but i'm throwing that in probably because again these are the worst pokemon ever created terrible 
same strategy. Maybe I still have the leftover Burmy, and now I'm beating this Wormadam until it's not gonna fight me back, and then I take that, now I have a bigger weapon, and then I can beat the other two Senseless with the other Wormadam. I think this is an effective strategy. This is where my thumbs come in to play. I feel pretty good about it. So we'll throw them in probably. I think it'd be a little crazy to put all of them punted to the moon, but you know what? It is what it is. Mothum. Mothums are friends, not food. I think that's a, uh, I think that's a not great, that seems like a terrifying thing. Well, it's a moth. No, it's a, it's a moth. I've killed numerous moths in my day. Now, I'm not proud of that. I don't say that to boast, right? It's not, it's not amazing. You don't want to be the person coming on here saying, I've taken out a few moths in my day, but I've, I've certainly done that. Now, bees... I'm deathly afraid of bees. There, there's not many things in the world I'm more afraid of than bees. So Combi, I think it'll be not great. I mean, if it's like fight or like, I, like I'm fighting or I'm gone, like it's, I, I maybe something in me would finally wake up and I'd be like, let's not like scream and just like cry and you know, in fear. Maybe I'd get a punch in. Vespiquen, this is my worst nightmare come to life. So we're not even gonna talk about that. The Combi, I, I'm too scared for me to have any, I can't sit here and be all brave and pretend. No, it's, I can tell you I'm gonna beat up the Wormadams with ease, but Gombi has me in a box, so that's not amazing. A squirrel that's gonna shock me? I mean, squirrels are very dumb. I, I live in New England, I've seen many squirrels in my life. They are all very, very stupid creatures. Now this thing could shock me, but I'm going on the assumption that it's very dumb. Um. And it's, it's Pachirisu, so it's not that strong. But wait a minute, is this the world champion Pachirisu? That is a big question. I think that's where the wheel C comes in. Uh, Buizel, a little otter guy. I feel like on land, I think that's a probably. I mean, if we were, if this was a, a water fight now, that thing would be kicking my butt and there's nothing I can say about that. But if we're on land, I, I feel pretty good about my chances against uh, a Buizel. I do. I, I don't know exactly what it's going to do to me, right? It's... Uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I could just grab its little inner tube around its neck and uh, shake it around until it gets all frazzled. And then we're maybe trying, to, maybe not punting it to the moon. It's not that small, but I, I, I think I could take it on. He's got wimpy little arms too. I don't, I just don't know what he would be doing to me beyond his mystical water power. So I'm not too worried about that. Floatzel, I don't think I have a chance there. I'm not gonna even, it's, we're not gonna go there. There's no way I've uh, I've run the numbers. I'm not beating the Floatzel in water, uh, on land, maybe in the sky, uh, but I don't know. That's a whole other tier list. Pokemon I could beat while skydiving, but that uh, that that might be a few tier lists down the road. Um, I all of the worst Pokemon in this generation were very difficult to get because they were in honey trees. Why is this a Pokemon? Also, why is this a Pokemon? Also, why is this a Pokemon? These two are so bad. I Like, this is one of the worst, most lame Pokemon we've ever gotten. This thing is fine, but its special ability that turns it into this thing, this thing is terrible. It's so bad at Pokemoning. I'm not even going to listen. I'm stepping on this and it's, it's bursting. These are little berries. Psh, they're gone. This guy doesn't even know when I'm coming. He can't see me, right? Like, he, he can't see anything. He's in his little shell, so as long as it's not the sun isn't too hot, uh, I guess I'm squashing onto him too. Maybe I'll punt him, but I think I'll squash and punt, right? This thing's gonna, you know, come out. Maybe I'll, I'll put it into probably. It's gonna put up a little bit more of a fight, but it's just so weak and terrible. Even though it's trying to throw some attacks my way, I assume that I'll be able to withstand any anything it throws at me, and I'll be good. It's just... Like, what do we, no, get out of here. You, I will salt the snail, and that will be the end of you. You are a nightmare. I, I don't know exactly how, ga no, Gastrodon is going to, like, earth power me or earthquake me. This thing, while I could salt this snail and not be too worried about it, right? You know, Gale over here, let's just get that out of here. No one's happy about doing it. We've all, we've all talked about it. No one's happy to do it, but I mean. When Gale comes a running, it is what it is. But Gastrodon, it has too many things on its side. It can use an ice beam and freeze me and then earthquake. And then I, I mean, come on, it's the earth power. It could go on either Scald. I, there's a lot of things it has at its disposal that I don't want to mess with. Gastrodon is a fearsome thing. I would be scared looking at it. I, it just wouldn't be great. So 
I think there's too many things at its disposal. Ambipalm Palm is slapping me in until I lose. Just a, just a slap, a slap, a slap, a slap. Like I have a pretty good, like my, my arms are decently long. I have the reach on most of these Pokemon. Ambipalm, no, I can't even get close to it before I just get slapped upside my head uh, over and over and over again. So that would not be good. Driftblim, I don't really know how I would fight a ghost. I think, I think it would go not great. Uh, I don't know exactly how these work. Maybe I could take a rock and just huck it, or if I don't have a rock on the ground, I can just like I don't know, try to you know like put my hands together and psh, 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 try to jab it till the balloon pops. I assume that it's going to use its ghostly powers to take me out and you know, bring me down with it, but we'll see. Driftblim absolutely ending me. It's a, it's a, it's a little, what, it's a blimp, right? Or a, I don't know, hot air balloon. It's, it's taken me out regardless. It's got some, eh, some sorcery, right? Some undead sorcery and it wouldn't be good. A bunny, a normal type bunny. Again, like the squirrels, I see many bunnies running around. My dog is trying to eat all of the bunnies. Want well, to know what I could do to this bunny? I could punt it to the moon very, very easily. Low Punny hearing about what I did to the Buneary, not very happy about it. Now, Low Punny is an interesting Pokemon. I am going off of the regular um, Low Punny. I think I have a chance in this fight, right? It's it is pretty it is pretty weak. It doesn't really have any super exciting things here. We'll have to see. You know, maybe it goes for high jump kick. I miss. I dodge. You know, I. Uh, you know, right? I've been practicing. People are throwing wrenches at me. I'm getting ready for dodgeball. Able to dodge. We might be good. Dodgeball, another sport I was pretty good at. Haven't played in a while. That's mostly just a, a gym thing, but I dodged the high jump kick. We're in business. There's the Mega. I didn't even notice the Mega was here. Okay, the Mega. Uh, I, I've dodged one high jump kick, and this thing has just... It's... Boy, is it using every fighting type move it knows to take revenge on me. So that's... That's how that goes. Miss Magius is a ghost witch and it's terrifying. It's, I mean, that thing is playing with its food before it takes me out. Like it's it, my worst nightmare there. Honchcrow, are you kidding me? Honchcrow is so cool. I don't even have a chance. It doesn't even matter what my, you know, technique is for fighting. It's just so gosh darn cool, right? It's, it's taken me. I know it's like heat wave too. Like it's got the power of fire and the sun on its side. And it's just a Honchcrow with its Honchcrow things. I mean, come on, it can sucker punch me. I'm not ready for that. Brave Bird uh, being very cool once again. I just, no, I don't really have a chance there. It's not great. Cats, I'm, I'm gonna do probably. One of the reasons I'm not a, a giant cat fan is, I mean, some cats are very nice, but most people I know who have cats will at some point come and be like, yeah, my cat like scratched the crap out of me. And it's like, oh my God, what? That looks terrible and very painful. So Glammeow, I mean, it looks very frail. It's not a good Pokemon. Feel like I could deal with that thing, but I mean, cats can be vicious, so we'd have to see there. Progly, there's no way. This Progly has all of the anger every cat's ever had, like hearing of the things that I say about cats. It's taken me out for them. Like it's, it's, it's one for the rest of the cats. This Pokemon should have never been created, and I'm furious that I even have to. I'm not even going to talk about it. Just, eh, nope, nope. Uh, the Skunk. A skunk is actually pretty interesting. I think that's a, I think that's a probably, I mean, I, you know, it can make me smell really bad and like really like shock me immediately. It's going to have to spray me and like, I'm going to have to be so incapacitated that it just takes me out then and there. Cause I feel like as long as I could get past the stench, I could still take on the skunk tank with relative ease. Uh, that that will be pretty interesting though to see. I, I haven't, I've never smelled what a skunk tank's a uh, dealing out. I imagine it's pretty bad. Or um, not skunk tank. What's this one even called? Skunky, stunky? I don't even know. I, I don't. The little baby. It doesn't matter. No one cares. Uh, you, the tank. I think it's skunk tank. I always said skunk tank, and people get really angry at me. Uh, and for all those, you know times I've mispronounced it. It's, it's taken me out. I imagine, I feel like the smell that comes out of that thing is almost lethal. Might just knock me unconscious and then, I mean, it, it wins the fight there. I don't know if I'm ever waking up then. It's probably just that. Bronzor? Um, 
That's a, that's a probably. I mean, he's got psychic powers and he is steel, but I feel like it would be a very slow thing. I'm gonna walk over, I'm gonna grab it, I'm hucking it into the sun, right? Like, I'm punting some to the moon, I'm taking this, and I'm, I'm gonna go play some frisbee golf, right? I'll go out with the boys, we'll have a grand old time, and we'll see what I get on the course, right? But I'm, I'm absolutely hucking that thing like a frisbee. Uh, Bronzong? There is not a single thing I could do a, do a Bronzong. Are you kidding me? There's legitimately not a single thing I could do to win that fight. It's it's a giant floating psychic bell. Like, beyond all the psychic powers, what could I possibly do to a Bronzong? I couldn't beat that if I tried. I don't, there's nothing I can do there. Bronzor, honestly, I actually, I'm gonna put that into wheel C because I don't know if I'd ever actually beat it in a fight. I think I could just like throw it for a really long time. I don't think it's gonna be able to do much to me, so I think we'll just have to see what happens if I throw it enough times, you know, maybe if I just throw it at a few buildings, or, you know, we'll just throw it at some different structures, see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, you know, dent it up and, and take him out, but I'm not entirely sure. Bronzong, not a chance, dude, not a chance. Bonsley, it is a rock tree. I mean, he does, he's a master of disguise, right? So I think that's the thing. Master of disguise over here, maybe I'm not ready for it. Bonsley comes charging in and starts beating me up with its rock limbs. Now, Bonsley is a baby Pokemon. No, I think it's I think it's not great. I mean, with a, a normal type bunny, I feel pretty good about, uh, you know, taking that thing on. A rock type tree, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. It also has the power of rocks. I can like pick up rock, you can like earth bend, right? It's like picking up a rock and throwing it at me. So I, I don't think it's gonna go my way, if I'm gonna be honest. Now, Mime Jr., I, it's, I don't, I think I'm fine. I don't have like a, a huge feeder of clowns like other people, so I think I could wade past that. And I feel like its psychic abilities are pretty weak at this point. So I think I'd probably be able to get some uh, nice punches in, right? Like its little clown nose, that's not like a squeaky, you know, little ball there. That's its actual nose. And I can't wait to smack that. That thing, that looks very fun. It's like a bullseye, like a target, right? It's giving me a target where to hit. As long as it doesn't take me out with the psychic abilities early on, I think I'll be good, right? Depends on where we start in the fight. Now, this thing, Happini, I feel bad. I don't know what, what's it gonna do? Throw its egg at me? I'm catching it right back to dodgeball. Catch it, throw it right back at it. It's dazed and I'm punting it to the moon. It's very simple. I don't know what to say there. This thing, I, you know, I don't wanna put it there, but this thing has annoyed me to no end. And if chatter works the way it does in the games and it can confuse me immediately, it's just gonna chatter uncontrollably, confuse me, and then I'm gonna start hitting myself in confusion. And then as I'm doing that, it's gonna be like pecking my legs, right? It doesn't wanna get hit by my punches as I continually punch myself in the face. So it's, now it's pecking at me. It's just this, this will go on for some time. Now, I guess, I, I guess we could get lucky, right? I guess we could put in the wheel C because if I don't get confused on like the first one and it's coming in and I get a nice hit off, that could be pretty solid, but I think what? Confusion, it depends on the generation. I think at fourth gen, it was a 50% chance. That's a we'll see. We're flipping a coin to see what happens. And even then, who knows? Spirit Tomb? Oh my God, I don't I don't wanna know. It's gonna drag me to like some evil dimension and then consume me, I'm sure, and I'll become one of its souls. I think there is something with Spirit Tomb that has to do with different souls. I think that's gonna be bad. Uh, Baby Shark, uh, you know, uh, Mommy Shark, Daddy shark, grandpa shark, brother shark, all of the sharks. The sharks are, they're, I'm done, that's it. Not only are they sharks, they're ground sharks, so they have the power. Once again, they're earth bending and they are sharks. Can, and I don't actually know, can these sharks like swim in the ground? I've seen a bad movie before when the sharks swam in the sand and attacked people. A terrible, terrible movie, but maybe it's these types of sharks. And if they can do that, well, they're gonna swim and then eat me, of course. So they will all beat me very easily. Munchlax, he's a very rotund fellow. I don't really know if I could, I don't know how much my attacks would damage him. I'm not super worried about Munchlax taking, no, I think Munchlax would be a much heftier uh, fellow than I expected, like again, very rotund. And I don't know, I don't think I could do too much damage. I think it could probably do a lot more damage than I expect to it. Ryolu, cute little guy, I'm gonna put wheel C. He's he's learning a lot of different martial arts. He's gonna be able to fight me. Like he's gonna be able to you know beat me like, in regular like uh, you know the style he's using and the the moves he's using much more effective. But the fact that he has small legs and arms, he might be a little bit more agile. But I I, I get one hit off and I think it's 
I think it might be uh, you know a little a little tough for Ryolu here to continue going on. He's a very he's a small fellow, right? The Lucarios. Oh my God! It's not only has it mastered everything, but it's reasonable height. Also, it has metal parts. I think it has, it has metal spike on its hands. That's not working out well. Mega Lucario can beat every other Pokemon here. It's one of the most broken Pokemon they ever came up with. I'm still upset that they thought that was a good idea, so that's not gonna work. Hippos are very deadly. Hippos, like, I'm pretty sure they kill a decent amount of people each year. I don't think I'm gonna beat that statistic, so that's gonna be tough for me. Scorpion, I actually feel decently okay about the Scorpion. You know, I actually was born in Arizona. Some of my few memories I have is like finding scorpions like outside or in the house and I mean, I dealt with them then. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm putting this on, put this on a probably, right? Now it's gonna have some more abilities and moves it can throw my way than a regular scorpion, but uh, I mean, they're very small, right? And I mean, I just, I feel like I could deal with it. You know, as long as I, as long as I avoid the stingers, but this also does go into the old, like, am I wearing, do I have boots on? Am I, do I have any clothes? I might not have any clothes. Maybe it's just, you know, it's hand-to-hand it's -hand -hand combat and that's all I have going for me. If that's the case, I don't really, I'd have a hard time. I think I need shoes. I need to be able to kick this thing. You know, punt to the moon is a big part of my strategy here. So I need to be able to kick or step on it. Drapion, again, that's another, that's nightmare. That is nightmare fuel. Krogunk, that's not great. I love frogs too much. I'm just not gonna be able to be, like it's, I just don't wanna attack the Krogunk and he's also just gonna be able to poison me. And they just, and then I'm poisoned and then I fall. I think that was in the anime, right? Like he, his hand glows and he, like poisons them and they fall and they can't really do anything about it. So that's probably gonna be what happens to me. Maybe I can avoid the poison and take it out, but I'm sure it's not gonna work out. So that's not great. Toxicroak is absolutely, like actually taking me out. You're taking me on. But then we have a uh, Finneon here, which I'm absolutely punting to the moon. And you know what? Luminion is not taking me out. I, I know I might be getting a little uh, a little ahead of myself and a little crazy, but these two are two other terrible Pokemon, right? This is why I'm doing this video. There are so many Pokemon in this generation that just, they have no right to be here. What is a Finneon doing to me? Nothing. The only thing that would be tough with a Finneon is one just catching the Finneon. If you've ever gone to a lake and there's like those little, you know, like fishes, fishies swimming around like near the shore and like a little swarm, I've tried to catch those many times. It's kind of annoying, but in a fight, it has to fight me. It's out of here. Luminion, you're terrible at everything. You're just, you're bad. You're a little bit bigger, but I'm also big. So you know what? You're gone. I know, I'm not gonna punt you, but I'm definitely beating you. No, probably, I'm definitely taking you out. Mantike, I'm gonna put that in probably. I mean, it is a, it's a little baby, like Ray he doesn't, I don't know, he doesn't really have too many things that scare me. Maybe I think the skin on the top is tough to hit, but again, if I get into the belly shots, I think it's gone. He's, look how happy he is. He's gonna jump out of the surf and then pa 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 pa. The evil tree that can control snow, uh, I think it's, it's taken me out. Uh, the, the bigger tree controlling snow, it's taken me out. This one, it's taken me out. I mean, it's just gonna freeze me, right? It, freeze me. I mean, they have like wood hammer. Does that mean he takes like a, a tree and smashes me with it as if the tree was a hammer? I don't think that's working out. I I mean, again, I'm like, I'm from New England, so I've dealt with a lot of cold. I don't, I just, I don't think I'm gonna, you know, deal well with a blizzard coming my way. Weavile is yeah, absolutely, not only will I not be able to find, it's gonna sneak up on me, but it's, it's gonna slice me in two. Magneton, no way I could beat it in a fight and its moves would be way too powerful. Licky Licky. I don't know what I would possibly do to beat it, and it's very scary. Rhyperior, oh my god, it could kill me in a billion different ways. The spaghetti monster is taking me out. The uh, Electivire is taking me out. Magmortar is definitely taking me out. I, it's this is this is where we really get dicey. Yeah, Togekiss is taking me out. Are you kidding me? Yon Mega, this thing is terrifying. Very cool, but I've seen many dragonflies, right? Very very cool little creatures. Then no, I'm not dealing with the ancient dinosaur big one. That one's taking me out. Leafeon, Leafeon has a bone to pick with me. I've definitely dumped on it too many times. Uh, it's taken out a lot of anger on me. Glaceon, I'm also I'm not going to be able to fight the four. Like they got a blizzard. It's no, nah, it's not going to be good for me. No way am I taking on the flying bat scorpion type thing. That's not going to work out well. Mammoth Swine, hey, impale me with his tusks, run me over, uh, you know, earthquake, like a blizzard, that's not good. I don't even know what you are. You're like crazy data. You're taking me on in a big way. Gallade, psychic and fighting, are you kidding me? Mega Gallade, oh God, Probopass. 
it's just gonna float above me and fall, and then I'm I'm gone, right? It's that is what it is. This thing can eat me with his evil belly. He has an evil ghostly belly that eats people, right? Frostlass. It, ghostly powers and blizzard. That's not good, right? And then we got, I mean, a rope. Any of the rotoms, right? I don't mean, what am I gonna do to these guys? They're appliances, you know, maybe the fan. Now that's still gonna take me on too. And they're gonna take me out in very gruesome ways with these appliances, right? Like they're they're ghosts taking over an appliance. I don't know what I could possibly do to regular Rotom, but these guys is an oven, uh, a washing machine, machine, a, a fridge, a fan, and a, a lawnmower. Well, I, I can't fight like a toaster. You throw that at me, like I'm, I can't beat that up anyways. Now it's just like using fire to take me out. You. I mean, I'm not as worried about like the water hits, but I mean, electric hits are still taking me out. And well, actually no, water and electric, that's not gonna be a good combination for me. And how am I gonna beat up a washing machine? I won't, I'll tell you that now. The fridge could fall on me, that wouldn't be good. The fan can go super quickly. And I think my only chance would be against the fan, but I do think it would be, I don't like, I don't know how I would get to it, right? I'd have to get a really lucky shot on the fa shot on the face, and even then, I'm not feeling too good about my chances. The lawnmower? No, I don't even want to think about that. Legendary Pokemon? I don't, I don't think the psychic legendaries I'm gonna do too well against. Uh, time and space? I, I think that's what these guys are in control of. That's not gonna work out well. The, the metal fire beast? No. Reggie Gigas. No, I don't care how slow his start is. I, it's not, there's nothing I can do about it. You come from the distortion world, are you kidding me? Moon Duck why, has upset me many times. But this thing, Fion, e, no, that's that's in the probably. We're throwing that thing up here. I don't really know what a Fion's gonna be able to do to me. Like, I mean, you know, like it's, it father or mother, right? A Manaphy could uh, do some very mean things to me, but Fion? It's got like a handle, you, you know, we talked about these two. I take them at the top and bash them back and forth. This thing has a handle, I bash them, bash them, and then I punt it. Now, it is still, what is it? It's a mythical, I think. I think it's technically a mythical. I need to have some respect. I need to put a little bit of respect on its name, but I think in most situations, I'm bashing it back and it's gone. I don't think there's much of a chance there. Manaphy, you, Grass Hedgehog, you know what, I'm gonna put that in not great. I assume it's gonna beat me, but the thing I'm most worried about from the Grass Hedgehog is a Seed Flare. I don't really know what Seed Flare means, or the animation is pretty cool, but I'm, uh, I don't know. I think I could, uh, I think I could withstand the power of whatever seed it's throwing my way, right? It's, is it just gonna take a lot of seeds and hurl them at me? Like little pelts, right? Maybe it feels like getting shot with paintballs. You know, I can withstand that and then it's a small grass hedgehog. I, I mean, with a flower on its head. I, I think I can take it on. Now, does have a few other moves. I think Air Slash, Psychic, Earth Power, things that I should be more worried about, but you know what? Uh, I'm gonna give myself, I'm, this is my false confidence coming in. I'm gonna give myself a tiny chance here. It's not great, but you know, it's chance. You, yeah, I, I, I'm not even gonna as a joke throw it at the top. And this is, uh, this is the tier list. You know, we have some Pokemon we're gonna punt to the moon. I mean, Piplup, I feel kind of bad putting you there. You're definitely the coolest Pokemon here, but I just I just don't see it doing too much damage to me. The rest of these are just disgrace disgraceful Pokemon. I, I don't like seeing I don't like seeing them there, so we're going to ignore them. They're not even there. I don't I don't want to acknowledge they exist. Moving on, Starly, I love you, but you're just like a regular bird. I don't know what you're gonna possibly do to me and I mean, it's a combination of Pokemon that shouldn't exist and things that are just kind of woodland critters I could take on. The wheel sees, I mean, you know, I felt like it was smart to not just say I could beat every small animal up, but after that, it gets dicey. It gets real dicey and we're not beating most of these Pokemon, if any of them, but that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this. This was really fun to make, very goofy very much a change of pace and again if you guys have any other goofy ideas like this or any other tier list you want to see from me let me know i'd love to do more in the future but i think that's going to be enough for me i'll see you guys in the next one until then peace